Oh, we hanging. We bang. Oh, we banging. What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, so today we are trying chip. No, I'm sorry. I was about to say chilies. Um, Applebee's new flaming hot chicken wings y'all okay so they're advertising them as boneless but you can get bone in and that's what we got mm. okay so can't wait to try it one of my yummy biters um requested this so shout out to you if i can find your name i'll put it right here um i also have four cheese mac and cheese with honey pepper chicken tenders uh caesar salad or tortilla soup and what'd you get merch though I got a, uh, look at this. supposed to be a 22 ounce ribeye. Maybe I read it wrong. Maybe it said 12, but anyway, and then we got some, <laughs> we got some garlic potatoes and some, uh, loaded garlic potatoes because I love taters. Yes. Yeah. It's about to go down. Yes. And I have, um, water. Uh-huh. Oh, we a healthy girl. Okay. Then. That's right. I'm on that good on the palmer. Nice and light. Hopefully this is this food is good, y'all. We don't know. We are trying it. That's what we doing, y'all. We trying. Steak sauce is amazing. I've never drenched my steak in steak sauce before I even tasted the steak. That's how good the steak sauce was. I'm, well, all right. I'm ready. Let's do it. Well, we're gonna ask God to bless this food. Yes, Lord, as we give thanks. Amen. Amen. So yeah, we just wanna try this food first. Come on, let's do it. Some what? Chicken wing first. Come on, let's try the cheese. Oh, okay, okay, you're, you're right. right. You're right. The clickbait. Yeah. You <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, okay. It's good. It is. Um. It looks like Cheeto. I know, but it tastes like a regular fried piece of chicken, don't it? I was trying to do the good part first. Which <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly good hot wing. They know how to cook them. Mm hmm I feel like they can um, make them crispier, of course, because I have some. Mm. I just I think they're perfect. Really? Mm. I got yeah. some rubber. Yeah. Mm. Good you guys just bite that. I have rubber. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. Mm. I like it dipped in that good old ranch. Happy Mother Flippin' Saturday! Uh oh. What? I did the baby wing. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a broke leg. That's what that is. I hate when the legs be mm -hmm. broke. You know what I'm saying? I know. Yeah, don't talk about it because I don't feel like you Please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't y'all hate that? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> y'all let us know. Have y'all tried these? Do y'all like them? Let me know. What? What? I'm tasting cheesy. I'm tasting the cheese in that bite. Really? Hey, these are good. I certify these. You shall not be disappointed. Mmm. Y'all, I don't know what kind of macaroni and cheese they making at, uh. Uh-oh. Applebee's. Mm-mm. Honey. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, honestly, because they should be embarrassed. Look, do y'all see any cheese in these noodles? I figured it was at the bottom and you needed to stir it. That's messed there, up. There, there's no cheese. It's literally a um, super duper thin looking soup looking cheese sauce. And they have the nerve to call it faux cheese. I'm gonna marry y'all. This looks so good on that picture. Oh, let me show y'all. Wait, let me show ya. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see how delicious that looks? Applebee's. You know. Oh, y'all need to do better. Please. Mm. 
Somebody like they ran out of sauce. So, like they didn't even have. They ain't hardly got no sauce on it. They don't have no sauce on it. Like there was a, a malfunction in the kitchen or something. Somebody trying to sabotage place. There's no way somebody I made definitely. that and thought that somebody was gonna like that. Exactly. I definitely gotta let them know about this, y'all, because it's uh. Uh-uh. Mm mm. What? It's literally just noodles. Yeah, that's crazy. These are good. How's that good old, um, a <laughs> <that> good old steak? <laughs> mm, so far, so good. Is it good? Mm, try it. Not really. Mm mm. You barely have any. No. <laughs> It's all right. Mm. Caesar salad. Yeah, I didn't have super high expectations, just you know. Yeah, I think my expectations be high every time for these places when I'm spending money. Mm. You know. Pretty good. <laughs> what the potato? Mm. -mm. That sauce is amazing. That steak sauce, out of out of this world. Best steak sauce I've ever had. What? Best steak sauce? Mmm. Mmm. It's like they seasoned it. Those are good. Have a napkin, please. <laughs> I forgot to get my napkin because the video started. Sorry. Okay. Now. Mm mm mm. Y'all, I want to thank everybody who's been DMing me news. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna shout a couple of y'all out. Um. Wait a minute. First of all, let me just talk about uh, Triple D Chocolate sent me this. <laughs> Plies. Y'all already, already know Plies is always on his social media saying something. And he was talking about McDonald's ice cream machines, y'all. And I it's almost like he was in my head or something because I just talked about this on the vlog channel not that long ago about McDonald's ice cream machines. And he was like, McDonald's is a billion dollar company. Why can't they find a company that has good ice cream machine? Cause like this is worldwide that these ice cream machines are always breaking down, <laughs> excuse me. And just like I said, he said the same thing y'all. He was like, um, you know, y'all breaking little kids hearts when they go to McDonald's and the ice cream machine doesn't work. Hmm. Like, come on. That's what kids go there and for about a lot of times. Wow. Yeah. And mm. I don't know. I just do not get it. It's like. You know what it is, though? It's because they, they be having a problem with slime in the ice machine with the McDonald's ice machines. They won't be cleaning it. That's why it be breaking down. That's why? Yeah. You never heard, all, seen the videos and stuff I heard about how filthy the ice machines was? That they were disgusting. It's been employees. Way back in the day? No, not I mean, recently. It's been employees leaking that, making videos about how disgusting the ice machine is. I mean, the, the uh, well, ice cream machine. About the, oh, okay. Really? Yeah. You don't remember? She might have just reason. No. Anyway, still, a billion dollar company, they need to hire somebody to maintain the ice cream machine every week, like once a week. You know? Clean it, maintain it, like clean it when it's supposed to be clean. Like, come on now. What it is is they make money really and survive off of um what franchising out. Right. I think they lease the land that the building is on to the to the franchise. Mm -hmm. And that's how they really make their money. You know, that's what McDonald's is about. Oh, so, so they, they don't care so about the ice cream yeah, machine. Uh, so the problem with the ice machine falls onto these individual mm. franchise owners. You know what I'm saying? Instead of it being a big corporate problem. But unfortunately, the consumers see it as a corporate problem. We don't we don't know who's okay. franchising a McDonald's out. Like we just know it as the company McDonald's, and it's looking bad on y'all McDonald's. So y'all need to get that together. 
honestly. Because somebody is going to come out and they ice cream machine is going to always work. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Always. Why wow, somebody going to feel that meat for in? I mean, you know, Bastion and Robin's ice cream always working. What's the yeah. other ones? The plate, whatever. Marble well, slab and all of this. They ice machine all of this. Somebody else ice cream machine always working. Um, he mentioned it in this video too. Let me let me play it. <laughs> Dear motherfucking Mike Donald. Yeah, motherfucking Sorry y'all for the question. Uh -huh. Motherfucking Mike Donald. Yeah, yeah. Mike yeah. Donald's. It's been 22 motherfucking years. 22, 2, 2. <laughs> that I didn't count it. My motherfucking stuff. And you still <laughs> ain't found a motherfucking yet. To fix this motherfucking ice cream machine. 22 years. You done built the whole motherfucking house, bro. Really? Oh, you got ice Dairy Queen. Where they get that motherfucking ice cream machine from? Okay. Ain't never. <laughs> ain't never, bro. Ain't never, bro. Some motherfucking billion dollars. <laughs> and you won't be to believe 22 years later. <laughs> you still can't find nobody with a motherfucking flathead screwdriver. <laughs> fix that motherfucking ice cream machine. <laughs> I seen the commercial last night. You walking out the motherfucking Jose and get motherfucking Jose a scholarship. <laughs> Everybody go to yell at and you hug him and all that. So you mean tell me, motherfucker, Jose don't love nobody? <laughs> Jose don't love nobody. <laughs> all I wanted was a motherfucking car mail Sunday. I know that's right. That's all I wanted. Yep. I don't want no motherfucking piss Sunday. I don't want I don't want none of that. You know I've been a motherfucking kid hard oh, as you done broke. Really? Right, this motherfucking ice cream machine. Never motherfucking work here wrong. And the question that I really want to motherfucking know, that I think we all want to know. Okay. Call the motherfuckers out. Who can? I want to find a motherfucker. Why? And why motherfucker? I, who keep breaking the motherfucker? I ain't creepy shit. <laughs> anyway, so. Yeah. Thought that was funny. Anyway. um, Amy McGarvey. Thank you so much for sending me um the update to um the Michigan student, school shooter. Okay. So, guess what? Well, they're going to charge him. Allegedly, this is what I heard. They're going to charge him as an adult. Uh huh. They're going to charge him as an adult. Do look, do look like that he was getting bullied. Um. Okay. Look like he was getting bullied. I said. Does it he, look he, like? I said it? the little dude who looked like he was getting bullied. I'm just yes, trying to make yes. sure we're talking about the right mm -hmm, person. Okay. Um. Let me see. So. Let me see. Here it is. Okay. Um. Oxford High School shooting victim. Excuse me. Sacrifice his life to save classmates. Oh, I wish you would have sent me some more on that. Um, parents of the Michigan student who did the shooting are being charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter. What? Right. Allegedly. His parents being charged. Yep. Dad Whoa. bought him the un the, the gun just a couple of days before it happened. From what I understand. Okay. Wow. Yes. And mama getting charged too. Mm-hmm. That's Those crazy. Those are parents. That's messed up. Um. Oh, shout out to Pamela Weaver for sending me the link to the verses that happened last night. Did y'all see that? We're going to talk about it. <laughs> We're going to talk about it. Um... Mm. And yeah, okay, so those are the ones that I have to... Oh, and Miss Natural Beauty. Um... Y'all, okay, so what you want to talk about next? There's so much, y'all, it's ridiculous. Versus, and that versus the, was dope. Okay, so let's talk about that. The was a nice, you know, a nice matchup. Two yes. big groups, yes, both, you know, Grammy winning, mm -hmm. you know, both evil undertones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One Oscar winning, three yeah. six mafia, you know, I thought it was a nice little. Like a matchup. Yeah. I like the energy. Yeah. Um, what is his name? Crazy Bone? It was no, it's Busy no. Bone. He should have been named Crazy Bone. Busy, y'all. <laughs> and I thought Crazy Bone was the one who Crazy Bone, the level-headed one. Oh, okay. Which one had the afro? Because he seemed like he was the one that was keeping everything together. 
Like, I mean, they all know, have afros from time to time. No, the one that had the afro that night, nobody else had an afro but him. The one that was talking the most. Oh, yeah, that's um, lazy. Mm. What about him? You thought he left? Nah. They probably all you know, made, made solos, but they always came together. It was busy, the one who st started the fight. Mm -hmm. He the one who had left. And y'all, I thought that was very childish of him. Because at this point, everybody grown. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody um, excuse me, in their 20s anymore. Like, that was childish. What he did. Talking about somebody was mocking him now. They probably were mocking him, which is wrong. That's childish too. Yeah, which is wrong. They shouldn't have been doing that because, yeah, that's childish too. Um, But what I didn't like, let me fix this because this is irritating the glove out of me. Um, but, yeah, y'all, so what I didn't like was, uh, what what was the young lady's name? That's the boy. Gangsta Boo, after, you know, everything broke out and they fought. And I didn't even see who was actually fighting. Did you? It was just a big group. It was like other guys. It was just like your man and them. You know what I'm saying? Was it? Yeah. Hmm. Lazy tried to, you know, defuse it. Uh, yeah. And then, but, it, you know, it'd it be, it be the boys. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh it's they, problems, problems. You know, yeah, and they the start yeah. with all of that. Oh, my God. So scary. <laughs> <laughs> it is to me. It's scary. Um. Anyway, so after everything popped off, we started getting into it. She started yelling. Um. He. Did, what did she say? He need to take his meds, or he didn't take his meds, something or like something that. like that. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was so rude. I thought she was just. She's just a little too old to be. Saying that, like putting people business out like that, like you know what I'm saying? And we don't know if he's still taking his meds. Maybe he took his meds back then, and maybe he's okay now. And he just was feeling disrespected. You know, I would feel disrespected too if somebody was mocking me while I was trying to perform. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, so, you know, thank God he came back and apologized for his behavior. Um, yeah, and dope. hopefully whoever was mocking him apologized to to him personally because they didn't do it on camera. But yeah, for the most part, it was good. But when um, what's his name? I forget. Hmm. Anyway, in the end, when they did crossroads and he. Told everybody to turn when they told them to turn the lights off and they had just the light from the cell phone was lighting yeah. the building up. Yeah. And they did crossroads, man. That was like That's one cool. of the dopest performances I've never seen mm -hmm. in history of performance. <laughs> that was something special. Yeah. <clears throat> but the only thing or nothing I didn't like is the fact that the crowd was not giving anything. No type of energy. The energy was just off, y'all. I swear to God. Even before the the fight, it was just off. I just don't feel like they, they had the right crowd there for that genre. Not genre, but um, era of music. At all. Like. <laughs> Maybe they did. Maybe they had people who came up on that music. And it's just the fact that they old line. They was tired by the time the Performance even got started because they had been standing up for three hours waiting on it, watching the DJ set and all kind of mess. You just so, making all that up? No. Because um. before, <laughs> before I watched the, um, start watching the verses, I watched like from the beginning and I seen they had a little DJ battle. You know, I'm into that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. I watched the DJ battle first and then they had some other stuff going on too. You know how it is for a concert. Like the main event don't never start when things start. Right. It'd be two, three hours later for the main event to start. Mm. Well. So. Okay, so. So how do you think it was? And who do you think won? He asked me who do I think won. And I said, um, I'm not a big fan of 3-6 Mafia's style of um, rapping that um, how does it go? It's just, I can't explain. How's it, how does it go? How do they do it? 
You, you talking about the cadence, the way they be rapping it? Exactly. I don't like it. So I picked Bone Thugs. And they're more of, of my era, I feel. I feel like Bone Thugs was like, I don't know, I don't feel like they are in the same era. Cause, yeah, because I mean, maybe 3 Six Mafia was, six was more underground. Like, more guys listen to 3 Six, you know what I'm saying? Girls wasn't listening to 3 yeah. Six back mm-hmm. in the day. Uh, yeah, I don't, man, if I had to, I don't even know if I could pick a winner. It seemed like it was tied or something. You think it was tied? Yeah, when it went off, I didn't feel I didn't feel like one side had dominated the other. Yeah. They both had moments, you know. Yeah. Three six held their own, especially when Juicy J was up there by itself, you know. Cause Juicy J he had a lot of single songs away from the group. Yeah, right? and they both had hits, you know. Yeah. Big songs. And Crunchy Black was up out. there, y'all. Yeah, they yeah. yeah, and they they when they when they brought over it's hard out here for a parent yeah. game, no nigga. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I didn't even know how much that I even liked that song. You like that? Bruh, I, I was, don't. Bro, I don't. I was. <laughs> bro, that was the moment right there. That I was I was jamming right along with him. I didn't like that song at all. <laughs> like, at all. I wasn't into it at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what I got caught up in the moment. Um, you ain't no Nick. What? That was a jam. You seen that movie, right? What? Um. Where that song come from? Yeah, I saw that stupid movie. That was a good I movie. didn't like that so either. Cool. I was thinking maybe we could watch it if you hadn't mm-hmm. seen it. The song. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you ain't seen it. You yeah. still didn't like it? When I was watching it, I just was not interested in it. it wasn't it with that that white girl who was on the drugs or something? Yeah. And yeah, he was a real, just, you know what I'm saying, support pimp. You know, with with, 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 with rap dreams, it was a real good movie. Well, really Even though his fake accent was getting on my nerves, and like it eventually. That's what it was for you, huh? Yep. Yeah, I, once I got past that, I was able to enjoy it. It had a lot to do with that. Yeah. The acting was terrible to me. <laughs> it was terrible. Sorry, y'all. My opinion. But, all right, y'all. So, we're going to move on to the next topic. Pamela Weaver, thank you for sending this to me. I actually had already seen it on... Um, no, this isn't Pamela. I'm sorry. Hold up. It was... Uh, who sent this to me? Oh, Miss Natural Beauty. Okay. So, I cannot show y'all this video, okay? Because it's very, very graphic. Um, oh, what a sad video. Yeah. Is that woman arrested by now? It is, um, y'all, and listen, oh I God. think that other the, people... That is the worst thing I've ever seen in a, when it comes to a police killing. That's yeah. one of the worst I have ever seen in my the life. The worst. I'm appalled. I'm just, wow. Can I tell them what Oh, my God. Happened? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, so, this man, y'all... Mind you, he is confined to a wheelchair. Allegedly, y'all, this is what I know from what I see, okay? Confined to a wheelchair. Allegedly, he was he stole a toolbox from um, Walmart. This is what they're saying. He stole a toolbox from Walmart. And it, okay, so the police, it was two police that was walking behind him telling him not to go into wherever he was he going He was hit when the video starts, the cop gets out of his car, the guy is riding his wheelchair. They have dr- Heading guns towards, on. back, going back into Walmart. He's uh-huh. trying to go back into the store and they mm-hmm. telling him don't go back into the store. And the so, lady was saying that. Yeah, and then what he saying? Did he say anything? He didn't say anything. He just got out with... Play it. You can play it up until something. they start shooting then you can stop it. Okay. You're not going into the store, sir. That's what... Oh, oh, I can't even pause it. Yeah, stop okay. going into the store, sir. Yeah. And she runs up on him and just... Let Execute him. Nine shots. She let off eight. Eight one, and two, then three, one four, last five, one, six, seven, she eight. Hesitated and then she and then hesitated boom. and then one more for the road. Like, what in the hell is wrong with you? From the back. A handicapped in man back. in a wheelchair... Posing no threat to you. He's trying to get away. No threat. He's, he had no weapons. He had no nothing. I he was in a wheelchair. That. And he literally just... Then, this is the kicker, y'all. After the nine shots, he falls, of course, onto the ground. And, of course, they... As always. And the as man, always. the male... Was it the male or the, was the woman who I came in? And, uh... Uh... I can't even... <laughs> Talk. Handcuffed him. Handcuffed they him. They love y'all. to kill somebody and then handcuff the dead person. They handcuffed. They ain't nothing but dogs to me. It was, it was literally 
It was insane. Beneath a dog. I love dogs. I had never seen anything like that in my life. Like, never. And everybody in the comments, since we were looking from the point of view of, of, of the male, they thought it was him that shot it was the gun. It was her. I seen it was that. her. And I even thought it was the male because it was it was his video and he had his gun, you know, drawn and I thought it was but no, it was her. But come to find out, allegedly, uh she's been fired, but I don't think she's been charged. But I gotta do some more research on that. I gotta find out about that, honey, because it's going viral. Well, she needs a charge. That, yeah, she definitely needs to go to jail for like she There's what? no reason for that. Y'all, I couldn't believe it. It was like he absolutely, he did nothing. She didn't even know for even sure. Even if he did I know. steal the damn thing and he was trying to bring it back in and he, you ain't shoot somebody in the back. What's wrong with these police? No, no. The entire police force in America needs a cleansing. Fast. Out of control. A lot of these people, probably half of them, or more, are not mentally stable enough to be walking around with a gun and the right to take somebody's life with it to be out here making sound decisions on the fly. They're not mentally stable enough. They're not emotionally strong enough. You can't just give anybody a badge and a gun for whatever reason because they, you know, or they haven't been convicted of a felony and... And all it is. No, we need to put people through some tests and make sure they can stand up to that, to be yeah. in, a, in authority and be a, a fair authority. Because there's not many um, qualifications that you need to have to be an officer. Really? Literally, they get, they letting anybody do anybody. it. Anybody. Any the problem. freaking body. Yeah, because they need people that is going to be able to sacrifice their lives. You know what I'm saying? I mean that too, but you need somebody who's who can make sound decisions. Who knows when it's time to shoot somebody and when it's not. Yeah. This, that woman did don't have no business ever being having a gun ever again and being a, 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 an officer. No, not at all. Like, come she on. I don't know what the hell she doing. I don't know what that was, y'all. Like, I have never. It was so brutal. Eight shots, and then here's one more. And just as plain and like, what were you thinking? Here's one more. Literally, what was she one thinking? More. Did she think that he had a gun hooked to his um wheelchair that was facing her way? Like, what did she think? I just, I, I can't understand what she was thinking. I'd be glad when she do an interview so we can find out because that was weird. I hope it's a prison interview. Okay, basically, that's where she need to be. Right up. Right up. That's so sad, man. God no. bless that man. Really, rest in peace. Over some tools, bro. They ain't worth it. Um. Well. Mm. 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 Um. I think that was it. Yeah. But there was one more thing <laughs> about the um, the verses. And y'all, I'm not hating or nothing. I, I just, I don't understand. Maybe somebody couldn't explain it to me. But when women dance <clears throat> over there. <clears throat> anyway. What you um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, what was I saying? About oh. When women dance? Yeah. They be patting themselves. No, that was yeah. That Down was, she, there, she I don't her, understand. She had a line in her song or something about that. What? Was, she had a line in her song or something about patting it. You know, that was she. I see that a lot. You see, oh, I, I see know. it a lot. Like yeah, that's on, some dance. you know, like I and I don't understand what is the purpose of that. Like, I don't know. I, I mean, it's like just it. another way to you know show off in front what you got. That's you disgusting. can only bend over and shake your butt so much. Somebody wants to expose no, the front now. No. Time to switch it up. No, no. We need to stop doing that. Yeah, that's that. I got that good, good. That's that. I got that good. We got to stop doing that. Good, we got to keep that, that to ourselves. They, everybody don't need to know that. Exactly. <laughs> but you see what kind of society we're living in now. Everything's on the front street. Broadcast for the world to see. All pictures are taken like this for some people. And then with the men, let's talk about the men, baby. 
Because uh, we're not the only ones trying to show our bodies off. Okay. What? Yeah. Men do the same thing. You know that, right? Yeah. You kidding me, bro? Can you hear him? You kidding me? What am I? What am I kidding about? Let's talk about it. You trying to compare men to? Uh, what? You trying to compare men? Men be whatever doing... men you have seen trying to show some nakedness. It can't even com begin to compare to the amount of nakedness that's going on with women. Of course, somebody will take their shirt off from time to time. I ain't talking about that. That is not what I'm even talking about. <laughs> not <laughs> just that. There's that. There's taking a shirt off. <coughs> There's the um, new thing that they have out now. I was trying to tell you about it, but you, you know, wasn't trying to hear me or listen when yeah. I was telling you that it's a thing now where um, men be getting online and they're called gray sweatpants. This is what it's called. They, they could be any color, but they're sweatpants. And they be purposefully showing themselves in the thin what is this, a TikTok trend or something? Um, they do it on Instagram, too. Okay, so it's a, it's a trend, right? And so, don't you think showing your butt and doing those poses, a that's a trend, too? It's a trend, too. Yes. So, everybody needs to get it together. Yeah, How about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, shame on them. Okay, we're not just going to talk about the women. Exist. Because you know, men be thirst that, trapping that and doing the same stuff. That kind of stuff don't come up in my feed. I ain't, I ain't clicking on that. You get, well, I'm just letting you know. You get what's in your feed, what you be clicking on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. Yeah, so because on your for you, you page, watch. anything comes, honey. I, I ain't never seen and will never see nothing like that on the you for you page. You will lie. You are going to see it. I bet you you will. No. That's not how these algorithms work. They're going to show me, you know what I'm saying, a set. That what they're going to, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Whatever. Because I'm a man. Um. Okay, so. Yeah, y'all. So. Do y'all agree with me? Let me know in the comments. Am I right? Because I know I am. I know I'm right. Right about what? Maybe doing the same thing. We can't compare women, some women damn be out stupid there, sweatpants challenge. Women be out there doing their thing and men be doing it too. Men, they be the trying to show off their dress, bodies because they think they men so dress, fine. When men dress, they put on clothes. Men put on pants. They put on a t-shirt. We put on clothes. Why are you eating salt? You see this? I love salt and black pepper. That is ridiculous. It's not good for you. This is pink Himalayan salt. Do you know how spiritual I'm being right now? Y'all, do y'all know that yesterday <laughs> I was telling him that I wanted to stop eating salt and sugar for a week. Mm. And I literally could not find anything to eat today that didn't have sugar or salt in it. Nothing. So I don't know. I really want to do that challenge, though. I want to do it. I yeah, just need to know what to eat. Stuff. Get you some fruits and I don't want to eat just, just eat I want to eat something cooked. I want to yeah, eat. Yeah, you're tripping. Because when you start cooking, that's when you're going to start missing the salt and the sugar. Because, you know, you're used to that. But when you eat it raw, you want some sugar, get it out, your, out of your uh, fruits. Yeah. It's a great way to eat. Eat some nuts, some berries, you know what I'm saying? Maybe some melon. I want it to be exciting. I don't want to... That is exciting. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's exciting to me. Crack open a coconut. Shit, what? Eat it all raw. Eating stuff that's alive. You put in your mouth, chew it up, swallow it's alive. You're putting life into your body. I don't know if I'm interested in, in the this raw. This is death. This is dead flesh. Do you know, know what I mean? It's dead but flesh. I didn't want... I did not want to eat raw. I want to eat my food cooked. See, to me, you gotta get you gotta. I eat some of it raw, but I want to eat. I want to eat it a meal. The best way to get it is raw, baby. What it's like Adam and Eve. Anyway, think Adam and Eve was cooking stuff. <laughs> Go on, Eve. I'm gonna have to let them know about that. I like. I literally can't even believe this. Yeah, that is. That's <laughs> There's the no worst. cheese in what these noodles. What a disappointment. The manager should be fired along with the person. Oh my gosh. Well, the maybe not the manager. Not. Maybe I'm going overboard. But the cook definitely needs to be tossed out. No, and this is probably how they tell them to do it. This is probably how it's supposed to be. I'm telling you, chefs are not in there somebody just doing what they want to do. No, no they're way. not. There, there's a certain. Do you serve this to somebody way. in the restaurant? It's coming back immediately. It's coming back. You think so? What? I know. I would. I would send it back exactly. I'd send it immediately. Back I'd be like, "Where's the cheese?" Exactly. I think this forgot to put cheese on this plate. Like, <laughs> like, where's the beef? Exactly. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Ooh, excuse me. 
Anyway, so <clears throat> I wonder who's next. What you mean? As far as verses goes. It's like they be doing them and don't be they don't be like hyping them up and nothing like don't nobody know about them. They just know when they come out, like Yeah, I mean she, they said something in the chat. That's the only reason I knew. Really? And then somebody had uploaded a little clip of that fight. That's the only reason I knew they was alive. Oh, that's what they trying to promote. Mm-hmm. Nah, it was just somebody that I know who had uploaded a little piece. Oh, excuse me. Whew. I want I can't wait until they interview uh busy. What? Because I want to know what he was thinking. I mean, shit. Like, they, look, they supposed to be taking care of their families and making money there, with this. They was over there and acting he silly. He just wanted some some respect. You know what I'm saying? Just let us do our thing. We but it wasn't even had. that serious. It, the vibe was... The the vibe wasn't even hey, on man. that. But, you know, sometimes... You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people be operating on a different, you know, book of respect and principles that probably That's shouldn't true. be opened up in a certain situation, but you just hard, sometimes you can't separate a man from his principles, you know? I'm sure I'm over here showing you respect, show me the same respect, you know? But everybody you was over just there having mocking fun. me and carrying on, acting like a clown. Everybody was having fun, you're supposed to do it, it's a versus, you're supposed to talk about the opposing team, you're supposed to talk your ish. But apparently and what they was doing when he was not, performing was too much, and what they do was it. doing, we don't know. So that's the thing. But I bet you somebody recorded it though. I bet you it's out there somewhere. <coughs> Everybody had their phones out. Everybody. Yeah, it probably wasn't nothing serious though. I think they was dancing around acting silly. I did see him, see him dancing around acting silly. What is silly. wrong with that? I don't know. My that's God, what he was mad about. Can't nobody have fun. Jeez. But by the time they did crossroads, I mean they had everybody in there crying and they back on their side, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't even remember that part. I might have, I might have clicked off at that time because I had something to do. But that's the that's the song right there. Yeah, I know. Oh, and the other one too. What, um, for the love of money. Ooh, that's yep. my jam. Yep, yep. When that's my favorite song. That, out of them the two crowd songs. was just not doing nothing. I'm like, what? Standing on the corner, straight slinging. And then uh, Easy head. Sun came out, right? Yes. Yeah, he got sidetracked for a second when that when they when that happened. I kind of why you got it. why you got I don't remember. What oh, it. yeah, when Easy E part came on, what? I'm all up singing the entire song, singing all of Easy E's part, like just it, and, the, the, and the crowd was not doing it yeah. at all, at all. Anyway, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Wait, let me tell y'all about these. Next? Huh? Who would you want to see next in the verses? Um, if if Nikki and um and um what's her name? Lil Kim. Lil Kim could do a verses, I would want to see it. I, I, you know, I know it's probably not a good matchup or whatever, but I just want to see it. Just because Nikki, I mean, just because Lil' Kim said she would want to do it with her. She said she wouldn't do it with nobody else at the belief. That's what she said. Hmm. You know who I'd want to see? Who, Remy Ma and somebody else? Who? Birdman versus Master P. Come on, you're supposed to fall out. Like, what? That's the, I had to think about yeah. it. Because I was like, wait a minute, what about Manny Fresh? But Manny Fresh and Birdman was... I mean, Manny, was, Manny Fresh was on the... Yeah, he fought the big times. They was a group together. So, I mean, of course, he would be featuring Manny Fresh. You already saying, know who's going to win that. I already know. <laughs> you know, just, you know, both of the CEOs, you know. They both yeah, got that solo. Would be they both solo careers, got solo else. songs, got group songs. They both massive, both New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, that would be incredible. That would be something. You're right. Yeah, imagine yeah. all the features, all the No Limit family and the Cash Money front. Lord have mm. mercy. That would be a versus of all verses right there. Mm. Is there any bad blood with them too? Uh, thank you. I think, yeah, it was oh, a little Lord. bit. Mm -hmm. We don't want to bring the bad blood now. Yeah. <laughs> they got to hash that out before. Yeah. Got all that Louisiana on the stage. I don't think okay, nobody, nobody going to stop the fight that time. You know? Exactly. <laughs> Baby, y'all ain't going to be able to stop that at all. I just know it. Oh, wait. Anyway, wow. y'all, these this uh, chicken wings. Is amazing. Hold on. Did this chicken taste good? Yeah, that, that's good. That was good. Bro. Uh, do you like those? Because Love. the ones that I make, I like them better. I like them better. 
I taste it. The wing is good. Bite it out of this cold. You taste the, the, the Cheeto. You, you giving me a rubbery piece of Bro, skin? Bro, just taste it. I just want to it. You can taste the butter and all that. Taste the Cheeto? Oh, yeah, you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The, they're good, but y'all, I wouldn't run to Applebee's to get these, okay? I wouldn't. You can try. Y'all can try them, but I wouldn't run there and get them. They want to know how we feel about them and how I they them, taste, so they can, you know. I give them a ten. Must try. I gotta recommend. Wow. I give it. I give them a seven. I give it a seven. I'm impressed. Um, That's better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. So. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video hope you have a good weekend y'all it's the weekend baby god i know y'all nine to fivers are so happy okay i'm happy and i don't even work a nine to five mm. okay but um yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please do what thumbs up this video subscribe if you haven't already for every day videos Every day videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. hey, 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 uh, uh. And we'll see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Wait. Y'all come back now. Oh, wait. Mm, are you serious? <laughs> are you okay? I'm just taking it to the ER. Y'all come back, y'all. You hear? Bye, y'all. <laughs>